wild circuit. This is the semifinals of the Cadillac Collective. My name is Delvis Jenkins Jr., y'all. And my name is Smoking Dan Maxwell. We're down to the final eight cars competing today in the semifinals. Here are the rules. You gotta be 80 grams or less. All of these cars are modified. We're going on the point system and consistency is key. Yes, it is, my friend. Let's take a look at the first four cars here in round one of the semifinals. Well, this bucket of potato salad is Rusty Wheeler. He doesn't make a lot of sense and he's dumb. Golly, how'd he get this far? No clue. Uh, Daddy G will be to his right with G4 Diecast Racing. Daddy G and this V16 have performed well thus far. Yes, he has. Poe Boy's in the house, y'all. Made it to the semifinals. This car is on a tear, one to watch out for. As well as Blue Line. Blue Line definitely earned his spot in here with some of the fastest times the Grindelwald has seen in the Cadillac Collective. Let's head to the top for round one of the semifinals. Rusty Wheeler with the pole position will be driving Drag racing against Daddy G. Man, they tear out strong. Daddy G gets off the line and comes into a commanding lead. Oh, Hitting him straight man. up. Blue line flipped on his lid. Golly, he did. And Daddy G is getting pressure from behind by Poe Boy, oh. who flips on his lid. Looks like Daddy G just has to make it to the bottom to get the four points. Good nice. job, Daddy. Good job, Daddy G. Coming in, kicking the semifinals well. off with the well. <laughs> there's Rusty. Running a 10 17. Man, it's like Rusty just waits on all the fast cars to get done racing yeah. and he makes his way to the bottom whenever. <laughs> it blows my mind. It blows my mind too. I don't know what's going on with that dude, but I tell you, Poe Boy was putting some serious pressure on Daddy G. Ended up costing him. He flipped on his lid coming out of the tunnel, oh. allowing Daddy G to throttle down, stretch his legs, and make it to the bottom. Very impressive first run right here in the semifinals mm. for Daddy G. Putting four points on the board. Round two kicks off with Blue Line in the pole position. Blue Line and Rusty drag race, and Blue Line takes him to Squoke City right out of the gate. Poe Boy and Blue Line are able to get in front while Rusty plays a little defense on Daddy G. Blue Line shoots out of there like a lawn dart. He is on a mission coming out of the tunnel, headed straight down to the final straightaway. Can he hold him off? He does. Nice. Picking up the four points with Poe Boy right behind him, running a 989. Oh. Good job, guys. Very impressive run right there from all four of our semifinalists. Rusty was playing defense on Daddy G, but it ended up paying off, and Rusty came in third on that one. I am super impressed with all four of these builds right yes. now, y'all. These things, we are at the pinnacle of diecast racing. The only thing in the world more impressive is Andre Agassi's oh. backhand. Can I get a hallelujah? Golly. No, you can get the hell out of here with a backhand. I'm about to <laughs> slap you back into your mama's womb, boy. Yeah. Po boy at the pole position. Golly, Dan, you're a dummy. I'm a dummy. You have season passes to a wax museum in Gatlinburg, <laughs> no. Tennessee. You are a loser. Yeah, well, who's not a loser's blue line who's about to put four more points on the board if he can keep it on all four wheels? Good Lord, he's on a tear, y'all. He is on a mission, making it to the bottom Whoa. of what looked to be a flawless run. <laughs> Holy mother of pearl, he ran a 929. That is the fastest time the Grindelwald circuit has seen during the Cadillac Collective, y'all. A nearly mm. flawless run right there by Blue Line. Wow, I'm impressed. Very impressive run. All four of the cars are performing well, but mm. Blue Line is straight as an arrow. It is very, very impressive to watch. I don't know if anybody's going to be able to beat that 929, y'all. Mm. You know, that that is a very, very fast time for an 80-gram car. Definitely. One of the fastest in the world for sure. These other cars are going to have to step their game up here in round four if yep. they want to move on to the finals. Let's kick it off with Poe Boy taking out strong. He definitely puts it on Daddy G there, taking him to Squoke City. Poe Boy and Blue Line are on oh. a mission. Oh, my oh. gosh. Oh, did he just flip 360 degrees oh. and keep on going? Wow, what an impressive maneuver by Poe Boy. I have never seen anything like that. <laughs> Blue Line coming down, getting four with Daddy G, Poe Boy, and Rusty. Man. Unreal. What in the <laughs> world just happened? Uh, Poe Boy was playing a little bit of daggone defense right wow. there. And Blue Line sent <laughs> him for a 360 ride right over his roof. Unreal, y'all. Daddy G was able to pass underneath Poe Boy right there and pick up a spot Ow. going into second, but... Really, Poe Boy hardly lost any momentum at all. Yeah, he just kept on running, man, and Blue Line made it 
to the bottom. Another impressive run. These cars are going to be hard to beat in the final. They definitely are. Blue Line came in picking up another four points with Daddy G right behind him securing three. Po' Boy with two and Rusty coming in with one. Congratulations. Blue Line and Daddy G will be moving on to the finals, y'all. Impressive builds. Let's take a listen to our sponsor. Y'all kick back, all right? in the house, y'all. This is one to watch for sure. Rolling in hot on those FTEs, it is Cut Rocker. With Cut Rocker Racing, he has been impressive up to this point. flippity doo da flippity a flip stam racing gonna run today. Ha <laughs> <laughs> baby, flipping the house. Man, that was awesome. Oh, I'm getting fired up. Jesse G, cloaked after dark. This car has been on a tear. Let's see how she does. Head to the top for round one. Frank Klein and Red Pill Racing taking on Cut Rocker in the drag race. It is neck and neck. Cut Rocker able to squawk him out. Solid start there for that B16 of Cut Rocker. They all file into a single file line into the first straightaway. Everybody makes it through the high speed turn. Cut Rocker coming into the tunnel, laying down a lick. Putting quite a bit of distance between him and the rest of the competition. What? Cut Rocker makes it all the way to the bottom, running an impressive 990 four with Flip and Jesse G. What in the world happened back there to Frank? I don't know. I heard somebody crash, but I'm not sure what happened. Let's take a look back. Right here, Cut Rocker and everybody come through the first turn carrying lots of speed. He really does carry a lot of speed and puts some distance between him and the competition. Very impressive run right there by Cut Rocker. Definitely. At this point in the game, all these cars are high end. They're making it to the yes. bottom. They are performance machines. Let's take a closer look right here to this corner and see what happened to Frank and Red Pill. Oh! Oh, God. good lord! Oh, holy mother of Pearl, oh. y'all! He uh, looks like he did it end over end about two or three times. Oh, what did God. he hit in the road? <laughs> Man, Frank! Yeah, he barely got out of the way down Ooh. there at the bottom for a flip. <laughs> And Jesse G to make it through. Wow. I guess he's all right. Uh, uh, round two. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, his car's completely fine, and he just won the drag race right there against Jesse G. We're just going to move on. Uh, not feeling rattled at all. Frank Klein with Red Bill yeah. Racing is on a tear. <laughs> Has Cut Rocker right behind him, feeling the pressure. Oh, oh, holy oh, crap. What was oh, that? Golly, he hit the holy oh. crap. Did you see the pass by oh. Jesse G? So much just happened. Oh. Wow. Yeah, so uh, yeah. I think they um, hit the bleachers. Up there. <laughs> Let's take a look at the replay. I, my oh, mind is gone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you don't see that every day. No. Uh, not sure we should have aired that part of this, but. Uh, yeah. Let's take a look back and see exactly what happened. Uh, Frank Klein was on a tear right here with Cut Rocker behind him and feeling the pressure, he came out and throttled to, oh, oh gosh. Man. Yeah. Man, that's tough. Yeah, that was really hard to watch, but uh, this is impressive. Yeah. Jesse G, not caring about all the death and people losing their legs, <laughs> capitalized, made it to the bottom and put four points on the board. Well, that is a true sign of a dock-ass racer, not giving a crap about anybody but yourself. Oh. Headed to the top for round three. This should be a good battle. Flip is in the pole position with Jesse G taking out and winning Ooh. the drag race. Took him to Squoke City right there. Red Pill is playing defense on mm. Cut Rocker. Jesse G and Flip are battling it out to get to the bottom. Coming through the tunnel, Jesse 
Jesse G flips around backwards. A very confident move right there. Ooh. Show and flip that Jesse ain't worried about nobody. Jesse don't care. <laughs> Man, Boy. we done lost our minds. 1084. That's uh, mediocre to say the best. Yeah, not the best time, but the points don't lie. Nope. Four points for Jesse G, putting them in a commanding lead with 10 points. Flip right behind with seven. Al Red Pill decided to play some defense, and it cost both of them points mm. on the board. Yep. Pretty solid run right here by Jesse G, flipping around backwards, probably just being a butthole and showing out. You know, I feel like in the next race that we do, we need to have the biggest butthole award. <laughs> some of these racers really are BHs yep. at their core. They're BHs. Yeah, there's some finicky fools out there, that's for sure. Back to the top for round four. Cut Rocker putting it on flip, side by side, headed into the S turns. Guess we lost the camera well, up there, but they came out in a single file line. Cut Rocker headed into the high speed turn with flip right on his tail, heading into the tunnel. Who will come oh, out in the lead? Man, oh, man, look, look at that pressure. Flip is pressure in the back bumper of Cut Rocker, but Cut Rocker is able to hold off that late surge, running a 10 19. Awesome! Impressive round for all four of those cars. Let's head back to the top. You can see most of this was single file racing. Cut Rocker definitely built one heck of a stable car. Headed down in a straight line with Flip right behind him, feeling the pressure in the tunnel but not caving. Flip shoots out of that tunnel and gains Ooh. some serious ground on Cut Rocker. Mm. Cut Rocker was just too fast coming out of this final turn for Flip to catch it. He definitely was on a mission and to prove a point right there. Flip coming in second, getting three points, followed closely behind by Red Pill and Jesse G. Jesse G and Cloaked After Dark Racing making their way to the finals, and it looks like we're gonna have a head-to-head -head battle against Flip and Cut Rocker. Oh, Meet oh, me at the uh, top up there for a daggone head-to-head -head battle. I'm about to hand you your ass. Who will head to the finals? Will it be Flip? Oh. Will it be Cut Rocker? Woo. Let's do it! They head out, oh my goodness, Cut Rocker lays the Whoa. throttle down and leaves Flip in his dust. That is insane! Wow. He is on a mission. Cut Rocker wants to get to the finals. Can he hold it straight and get to the bottom? Coming out of the tunnel, he is straight as an arrow, y'all. I think Cut Rocker will move on. He does! He wins the head-to-head -head battle nice. running a 986. Solid performance right there for Cut Rocker. Rocker in the head-to-head -head battle. Congratulations to Daddy G, Boom. Blue Line, yeah. Cut Rocker, Woo. and Jesse G. Y'all made it to the finals. Whoa, baby, this is going to be insane. <laughs>